All right, welcome to Unit 2, Exploring Two-Variable Data. This is AP Statistics, and this is Topic 2.1, Introducing Statistics. Are variables related? So this is a great unit, right? It's all about looking at two variables. So what are some questions that can be answered through looking at possible relationships in data, right? If you're going to look at two variables, what we're going to be looking at in this entire unit is what's the relationship between those two variables? So here are some questions that I kind of came up with. Is gender related to seatbelt use? So the idea was that I got two variables, gender and seatbelt use. And I want to know if there's any kind of relationship. Like do males wear their seatbelt more? Do they wear their seatbelt less? That's what I'm kind of interested in. Um, is state of residence related to suicide rates? So state of residence is, you know, a categorical variable. Uh, suicide rates could be a quantitative variable. And, you know, is there a relationship? Are some states having higher suicide rates than others? Um, does career choice impact stress? Career choice is going to be a categorical variable. Do you have stress? Yes or no? Another categorical variable. And, you know, and does your career choice impact how much stress you have in your life? Um, is the size of a pitcher's hand related, related to the pitch speed? So those are both quantitative variables. Size of the pitcher's hand is going to be something that we measure, and the speed is something that we measure. And is there a relationship? If you have a bigger hand, can you pitch faster? Or vice versa, maybe. Um, does temperature impact the age that a baby first learns to walk? So does the outside temperature have any relationship on when a baby learns to walk? And again, two quantitative variables there. Um, one more here is the daily temperature related to hot chocolate sales. So there's another two, um, you know, let's just talk about a restaurant. And um, at that restaurant, there's an outside temperature. And at that res restaurant, they sell hot chocolate. So is there any relationship between the temperature and the hot chocolate sales on a given day at that restaurant? So the whole point is that in all these questions, whether they're dumb or you think they're dumb or they're not dumb, the whole point is that there's two variables and we want to know if there's any kind of relationship between them. So you could come up with some questions as well. Now, um, you know, you could pause the video and just start thinking on your own or you just keep watching. The point is that, you know, as the course goes on, you need to start thinking of some questions that you may have that incorporate two variables. Um, for the sake of what we're going to be doing in this unit, try to keep them both categorical or both quantitative. Because this unit really is kind of divided into two distinct sections. So in the first couple topics, we're going to look at how two categorical variables are related. And then we're going to move on to looking at how two quantitative variables are related. And we have to really keep things separate because kind of like bar graphs and histograms, right? They have a lot to do with each other, but bar graphs are for categorical data, quantitative, we use histograms. So it's a similar idea that, you know, categorical versus quantitative are very different types of variables. So how we look at the relationship between them needs to be kind of kept separate. So the last thing I'm going to leave you with here, this is kind of a big question that's actually like a really important idea for this in whole this whole course is does a pattern always mean a relationship? Just because you see a pattern in numbers, does it mean a relationship exists? You know, apparent patterns and associations in data may be random or not, meaning sometimes a pattern can really reflect a relationship between the two variables that truly does exist. Like variable A really does impact variable B. Or maybe we're seeing a pattern that is really just random. And we think we see something, but it's pure random chaos that allowed us to see it. Realistically, there's nothing going on. And this is going to be a big question that we're going to focus on this unit and in other units as well. Is this idea of, is there really something meaningful going on? Or are we just seeing, well, randomness? I mean, we do live in a world where a lot of random things happen. So are we seeing something that has meaning to it? Or are we seeing something that just is pure random? So that's going to be kind of a big theme as we look at looking at the relationship between two variables. All right, so that's it for topic 2.1. It's just kind of more of an intro topic to what we're going to be learning about. And now we're going to start into really looking at categorical variables and how two of them can be related.